What do you have today, Hayden? I have seven miles of strife today. Awesome. Have a good one, okay? Okay. See ya. V, Evan, and Cole, and we're gonna do an easy run, 11 miles, shake out the legs a bit, and get ready for our long run tomorrow. Mile one, 7.45. Crosswalks, but we're making our way through them. Small two, 7:30. Fix a flat tire here. Mile three, 7:35. What better way to spend a Saturday morning than with two? Uh, my most favorite people in the whole wide world. First cloudy day we've had in a while. Really appreciating the cover. Makes the run a whole lot more pleasant. I wore oversized shades today, thinking there'd be so much sun, but I'm super glad there, there isn't. <laughs> Get off the asphalt a little bit. Enjoy some dirt. Mile four, 726. Mile five, 734. All right, we're halfway done. On our way back home on the second half of the loop. Looking good. Feeling easy today. Mile six, 748. Mile 7, 7.30. We dance, let's make it good somehow. What else could we do now? They said, roll down the window. Let the wind blow back your hair. Mile 8, 7, 7. <laughs> Mile 9, 7.44. Hey, Avery. How's it going? Easy pace is getting easier. Definitely feeling the difference, especially on Hicks Canyon when we're coming up the 2% grade incline for two miles. I don't feel nearly as pressured going easy pace on that incline that I did last month. So the improvement is coming. Now we just can't get too comfortable at easy pace. Really need to start tightening the screws a little bit and dipping into steady state now and pretty soon we'll be adding fart licks into the easy run so that'll definitely spice things up a little bit and add some pressure that's mile 10 and the sun is peeking out finally <laughs> just in time right at the end of our run Mile 11, 7.51. All right, all done. Rice cakes to choose from, but we know that this one is the best.
lot done this morning. Nice little McDonald's breakfast. Got some shopping done at our favorite Korean grocery store. Replenished some extra carbs with some rice cakes as well. To top off 11.09 miles at an average pace of seven minutes and 44 seconds per mile. Total moving time of one hour and 25 minutes and 49 seconds. Average heart rate, 142 beats per minute, 176 steps per minute. An excellent easy run. And like I said, feeling way, way easier. We're still about 19 weeks away from race day. So there's plenty of time for us to continue ramping up. And we're gonna keep our easy runs at easy pace, but we're gonna to start to implement more of a proportion of our easy pace miles towards steady state. Steady state being that pace range in between easy pace and marathon pace. So that means that we're going to gravitate towards spending more time with miles at around 650 per mile to about 720 per mile. And we're gonna to try to hit those miles a little bit closer towards the end of our easy days. Another way that we can implement a little bit more of pressured running during our easy runs is to incorporate some speed play into our easy runs. And we'll implement those shortly as we move into our marathon build next week. Super stoked and excited about that. <laughs> Easy pace is finally feeling easy, but we're not gonna stay here very long and we're gonna continue to apply a little bit of pressure. And I think that's the whole point. Um, I don't think we're trying to get to a point where runs feel so, so smooth and effortless. We wanna to continue to add pressure and stress because it's the pressure and the stress, the addition of that uncomfortable feeling that helps move our graph to the right that helps to continue our progression curve on a slope and keeps that plateau away so that we can extend our log curve a little bit further, a little bit further down the graph, a little bit further down the timeline. It's kind of a paradox because as soon as the easy pace gets easy for us, we apply a little bit of pressure so it doesn't feel easy anymore. But it's the price that we're willing to pay for continual improvement, and to keep the progression going. And we're gonna to continue to work hard. We're gonna keep the grind going, keep grinding towards getting closer to race day. And then finally, during the taper, that's when easy pace is gonna feel real easy. And you can do it too. Keep grinding on through the weeks. Keep following your workout plan, your training schedule. And pretty soon, before you know it, you'll be two, three, four weeks out from race day, getting closer to your taper, and easy pace will feel very easy to you at that point. If you're struggling with the grind, don't worry, you're not alone. We're all doing this together. Comment below if you feel like you're struggling and you're having trouble grinding it out and getting closer to your race day, and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Please like this video, help get it out to as many people as possible so we can help as many people as possible. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, it helps out our channel a ton. Giant shout out to the best Patreon team in the world. We really can't do it without you. We love you so much. Got Instagram or Strava? Then you can find us right here where your daily dose of running motivation coal is an ace. Looking for a spring destination marathon? Then join me, Cole, and Evan in Hilo, Hawaii for the Big Island Marathon. Use code ALLHEART for 20% off at registration. Hope to see you there. Kids took up all the groceries. I'm gonna go in, put them all away, get lunch ready and rolling so I can feed my hungry animals. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now.